comes in, just waiting to get a change there for the Flyers. Olonde. Yeah, Gilford doing a good job at just forge. Oh, he's going to it's see a good job of forge check there, but there, there's a goal. Gilford Flames, first goal. Yeah, the shot coming from just inside the blue. Talbert's managed to redirect it, just a stick, and I think it caught off the body maybe as well. In front, went past Owen, and Gilford Flames have an early 1 0 lead here, no barn. Just having that body in front being, and you know, we spoke about it off air on, on Thursday night, and some of the Flyers maybe didn't do enough of to yeah, yeah, try yeah. it. You know, that's what kind of happened there in that situation. Maybe the unexpected shot from the distance and it's in. Taking their time here and trying to get out, but unsuccessful on this occasion as Flyers try and put a little bit more pressure on the, the Gilfer net here. We've got somebody in front. Chance oh, up back. Oh, oh, unlucky. Unlucky. Oh, just put it wide of the target. Yeah. He wasn't expecting it. Credit to him. He managed to eventually get a hold of it, but didn't quite come off for Flyers. But a good positive couple of minutes there as they come back to 5 on 5. About the time with Dan's here now. I hope we'll go and speak to Dan. I'm just to sign a wee bit of paper. Yeah. Keep him for so next year. Yeah. <laughs> next two years, Lajanes cannot yeah, leave sorry. five. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! There we go. Up to the scoring. Timu Pulkinen. He ties things up at one apiece. It was loose in front. He puts a low pass Berman. Flyers have one up. Goal one and four. It was a quick shot from the D. And yeah, it was there, yeah. Just then, rebound come out in front. Pulkinen buries his opportunity. Surely one at the draw. Miguel put it on net, and then Pilkinen puts home the rebound. 1-0. A few minutes now. Keeping a hold of it, just waiting on an option. Gives it to Weirs. A wee bit slack there. We'd like to see that going further in, but... Yeah, and to be honest... Credit, yeah, credit, we've worked away hard, we've kept it in there. Yeah, Hughes took too long in the pocket for yeah, Guilford. Yeah, he did. Fiona Semmerdahl, I called it this morning online, I fancy the captain goal tonight, and there's one in the first period. Yeah, good goal as well, good shot. Yeah, and do you know what, that stem from Hughes, making a mistake at the boards and not clearing the zone for, yeah. for Guilford, and then it's fell to Emmerdahl, he's worked hard to get possession of the pockets, but a high pass Berman, 2-1 Flyers with 8.28 to go. I hope his friends that were here a couple of weeks ago are watching back home. <laughs> they couldn't get a goal yeah. for them that night because they were certainly rooting for him to score, but there you go, he gets one tonight. Crowcock plays it back to O'Connor. O'Connor over to Ferguson. Good oh, hit oh, by oh. Troy Lajanes. There you go. That'll do for Dad in the stands. Although Ferguson is down. Good hit. Which we don't, wanna, don't like to see that he's hurt. Ah, I just sort of yeah. Bits. Sort of threw it into his feet, to be honest. Opportunity the other oh, way, good nice save. save. yeah. Nice flash of the catcher by Shane Owen. To deny Alvaro. Opportunity the red, oh! Pavlov sits the crossbar there with that shot. Yeah, lucky there with pipe work on Wednesday as well, so... Oh, just unlucky, just came off his stick as he was getting ready to take a shot there. To Osterberg, into the zone he goes. He's trying to drop it back to Lajanes. Still has it, Michaela. Oh, unlucky, trying Straight to get a first time shot. Yeah. Tate here, he's in on goal again, second time tonight. Good oh, save. great save, Owen, yeah. Good back check as well by Osterberg. I think yeah. he's got enough pressure on him. Yeah, Just as he went into the side of Tate to put the pressure on the Flames forward. Even back in the BNL days, being Guilford were always a team I oh, quite enjoyed definitely. playing. Yeah, quite enjoyed yeah. watching them play. Opportunity quite early on for five. Oh! There's the goal for Dad in the building. <laughs> Just yeah. 11 seconds into the second period. Flyers have got themselves two goals ahead. The initial shot there come from Pavlovs. Eventually fell to Lajeunesse on the far side all alone. And he puts it into the empty net. He won Flyers. Yeah, I'm keeping my eyes on him to see if he goes a bit knowledge bit to the dad. I don't know where he's dad's sitting or anything. Not so. sure where he's sitting. He yeah, I just I had a look, wondered if he was maybe going to give him a wee wave there, but. He'll know. He'll know. T Sink now for Flames as he brings it forward with support. Hughes with the backhand. Goal, yeah, the goal. Yeah. Hughes, just as I was talking about the next goal being crucial, Hughes has managed to get that low pass on on the five hole. 
was good pressure and good play there by T-Sync as he comes out of the defensive zone himself. Draws it back to Hughes, he puts on the yeah. backhand. I don't know if T-Sync maybe got a nick on that on the way through as well, but certainly Hughes and T-Sync linking up there. Got Flames right back into this again. So two goals in under two minutes. One for each team to start the second period. A goal apiece. Chiodo. Yeah, just trying to set up, yeah. So Ryan Hughes awarded the goal. Oh! oh! oh look at Chiodo! That was a thing of beauty! He batted out of mid air after the pass from Drake Pilon. He's redirected it past the Flames goaltender. 4 2 5. Yeah, what's it that one? Oh, uh, yes. Beautiful hand eye coordination. Yes. Yeah. Drake Pilon with a saucer pass. Chiodo with a bat out of mid air and puts it past Taz Berman. 4 oh. 2. Nice goal. Nice goal. To be honest, they're slacking now, Bean. We've had about two minutes and there's no goals being scored. Yeah. <laughs> they need to get their finger back out again. Oh, just, oh, about... just nearly <laughs> said that. <laughs> just about, just, just as about I said rolled that. in there, yeah. Brady Bado puts one on net and there was a loose puck at the side, but Taz Berman just is aware of it and covers up with the catcher. It's a good shot as well from Brady Bado. Right yeah, it on was, target. Yeah. Goes Alvaro over the far side. Looking for an option. Guilford Flames will be trying to set up now and use the advantage of the extra skater. One, oh, oh a save good by save, yeah. Fantastic save to deny Londi on the power play. That's a couple he's had tonight already. Yeah. He'll be making up for the error that he's cost his team a, a penalty, so he comes up with a great save. So, like as you're that. saying, obviously, if it's a poke check, then he's coming out this way. Yeah, yeah. In front of his net, and that's fine, he can do that, he can play the puck. But he's obviously went behind the goal line, and he's been outside the right. other line, so then, therefore, he can't play the puck, and he obviously did. So, that's why the penalties came. Redirected on the way through, one keeps a hold of it. Yeah, and there's going to be some shoving back and forward here as they went to poke the. Sticking to Shane Owen as he yeah, had it covered. And there's a penalty coming up because the ref's got his hand up straight away, so. It's not going to come to an end, they're just all shoving yeah, each other and they end up a few guys down I on think, the deck. I but think there's two guys going to go. I think one's going to go for each side here. Mikel is going to be one of them for the Flyers. As he obviously tried to protect his goaltender. And it's going to be Hughes for the Guildford Flames that will sit in the box as well. Bobbling around in there as Emmerda was trying to get it under control in his own end. O'Connor has it just inside the bluesy. Chops and changes back and forward, eventually gets the puck towards net. Cronella on the turn. Yeah, but scrappy with flyers here, they're getting hemmed in their own end. Puck still not going out. Corner for Osterberg again. Pavlov's now. Shirley turns. Pavlovs. Oh, Latinesh just didn't get, yeah, he just fired it, he passed into his feet there. Just a fine margin to pass there, you know, it's just yeah, a, yeah. a split second of difference. It goes Lajones with the puck now, from his own zone, into the neutral zone, drops it off to Osterberg, back to Veers, 112 left on the power play, two minutes remaining so in the game. Osterberg to Shirley and gets it back again. Flyers start to move around now. No! The power play goal! The all important one in this one. Troy Lagines is past his goal and Shirley. Read the action, read the action, sorry, past Laz Berman. 5 2 Flyers. Yeah, game over. Credit to Flyers when it's due, they've been on it tonight and they've done really well. And they will see this one out on home ice with a 5 2 yeah, win for the Guildford Flames. So that will take us to 49 points just now. As it stands, we're sitting in eighth place, but we will jump up depending on results with Coffrey and Dundee.